fun fact. The beginning of the movie, that person, Harry's aunt, that blew up in the beginning of the movie to turn that big bloom. That was actually the Trunchbull from Matilda. If you didn't know that, now you know. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. Long title is the third movie in the Harry Potter franchise. Potter Fest is still continuing on. I just finished watching it on HBO Max. As all eight movies are on there, just check them out, watch them, have a good time, enjoy the nostalgia of the Harry Potter franchise. And just got done watching this one, and is it good? But I'm gonna say this movie is definitely, like I said, the first two movies, Chamber of Secrets, Sorcerer's Stone. Like, yeah, that was like kid fantasy stuff. Good times, we're all being kids, having hanging out, having a good time. Um, year three now, Prisoner of Azkaban is, is dark shit now like this is like dark shit. yeah that fantasy stuff it's gone uh, but you know what they say kids gotta grow up sometimes so now we got getting more dark deeper lore in the harry potter universe and this one does do a good job of it be it this was the first movie i realized that i was like this movie's kind of long on uh, harry potter movies are literally like two and a half hours long i kind of forgot that because the first two movies didn't really like feel it the second i was like okay i kind of feel it third one i was just like oh yeah this is this is two hours and 21 minutes long. It's long. Like, I felt that because it was pointing the movie where it was like, okay, like I felt like if this was still directed by the first director who did the first two movies, it would have wrapped up right here. But then it had to have just like this extra 30 minute long kind of ending to kind of wrap up something that happened previously in the movie. And it's like, okay, it was needed. But before you knew what was happening, it was like, oh, this we cracked the case, but there's still some things I gotta get done. But overall, I thought the third movie was still enjoyable for, you know, what they're going for, what we're going on this new adventure. So let's get into it. Look at the pros and cons. I believe that Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is on HBO Max. Let's talk about it. First of all, adding to the movie, you know, um, one thing I gotta say off top, we do have a new Dumbledore in this movie because, you know, the previous actor who did it, he passed away. So we got replaced by our new Dumbledore. And I gotta say, like, you, I like both of them. I like, the, you know, the first two Dumbledores. I like him in the first two movies. He was great, but the one who carries along in the other two movies, he was still good too. They're both good in their own different ways. So you can't go wrong. Dumbledore is so awesome. Gary Oldman's our newest character. He added to the movie one of the newest characters, Sirius Black. And like I said, you learn more about him in the pre and further movies. But this one, his introduction, you know, you kind of like, oh, is he, he's creeping. He's a villain with Harry Potter's album. Well, but still does a great performance and everything like that. And like I said, it's just, it's just good. Uh, Harry, Ron, and Hermione, they're back again. And they're, like I said, they're a little bit older, you know, because they're like 13 years old shit so now it's like okay we're not kids no more you know we're getting the more deeper shit new normal chores stuff the beginning of the maturity that's going to carry on to the next couple of movies it's still good the plot in the movie more or less the movie kicks off with harry potter pretty much being like okay you know this, this, this my aunt and uncle they suck so i'm just gonna run away i'm just gonna do that uh, while also learning that sirius black he escaped from azkaban prison you know it's pretty much a prison that nobody can escape from ever ever somehow he did it and now he's pretty much like oh someone's trying to kill me i want to stay away from now so also while going on the hawk Hogwarts Express to get back to Hogwarts from his third year of school. But creepy things are happening now because the train stops and these Dementors, these fucking shadow creatures are just lurking around, stealing people's souls. Can't have that. Yeah, so pretty much Harry Potter had to deal with the Dementors and pretty much deal with his third year and also that someone else is pretty much, yeah, trying to kill him. But, you know, another year of Harry Potter. I will say this is like the first movie at which, you know, Voldemort isn't trying to really get at him this time. You know, he's pretty much like there's talks about him here and there, but it's really not Voldemort, you know, running the shit this time. It really is like a personal story this time with Harry Potter and other characters stuff like that them dealing with the stuff they're going through and it really is like that. Now let's take a break from Voldemort because we know he's he, he's coming. I mean pros of the movie I'll say that one of my favorite scenes in the movie is the I want to say this right the bog the Bagarot scene I want to I'm, I'm probably butchering it but I just you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that scene in the movie where it's like, okay, the news professor against the dark arts. He was like, okay, I'm gonna open this door. You can pretty much see it's gonna bug her out. I think that's how you said. I don't know, fuck it, I'm sorry. It's gonna transform into anything that you fear the most, and now you pretty much gotta do this uh, ridiculous spell, and it will just turn into something funny. You think of something funny. Funny. That scene when Ross sees the spider, just pretty much puts it on skates. <laughs> was uh, that scene always gets me? I'm like, he's that fun teacher. That well, he's that fun teacher we've all had in school. That's like, yeah, he. Mm, I want his class. Yeah, that scene with Buckbeat also that. Big, big bird. First time watching the movie, I was just like, oh, R.I.P. Buckbeat. Oh, it was all magical. Harry flat in the air and stuff like that. That was cool. Yeah, I love it. But then it got axed off, and I was just like, R.I.P. This is, this is 
shit. Yeah, but they fixed that because time travel. And yeah, time travel is in the Harry Potter movie, if you didn't remember. Remember, Hermione has that little, you know, I Agamotto thing that she could just rewind time and pretty much just go back to a previous moment. That's how she's been, like, popping in and out. That we also learned some more spells and more magical artifacts in this movie that I do like. Like I said, the world building, the lore building, it's still good, it's still there, and I love it. You're getting deeper and deeper. It really pretty much does feel like, yeah, this is our third year coming back to Hogwarts. We're like juniors now, so we're going to learn more about this deep shit. And a lot of revelations that we learn in this movie does carry on to other movies, stuff like that. So it does have a payoff. It's like, I pretty much compare it to, like, just like Age of Ultron of the Harry Potter movies. Setting things up, opening paths that are going to pay off in later movies. So that's how it goes down. It's the movie that I learned that iconic spell, Expecto Patronum. Oh, I'm pretty sure I said that one. I hope I said that one right. The cat's still great. The thing we learn in the movie are going to pay off in later movies. It's still good. The magic is like, it's still there in parts, you know, it's just, you know, more mature. Oh, but this is the first movie that's not directed by Chris Columbus, and you can definitely tell that the tone is just differently different. It's like going from Steven Spielberg to pretty much Tim Burton, just night and day like that. I'm still enjoyable. So I'm going to say that Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban is definitely still a strong 8 out of 10, which is worth seeing that full of shit. Even though it's still out right now, it's being a little long, it's gonna pay off. Give it up. It's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is on HBO Max right now. You can watch all the Harry Potter movies. We're going to keep reviewing and watching each one every day. So next movie, I believe, is The Goblet of Fire. That's pretty much one of my favorites because of the Triwizard Tournament. That shit was business. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow for that one. Well, and as always, guys, subscribe. Until next time.